Hey everybody, welcome back. This is John on my balcony in Los Angeles again, and it's Friday. You made it through another week of being at home, quarantined. So to celebrate, we're gonna have another cocktail. Uh, I thought we would go with something a little different tonight, and uh, it's a rum cocktail. Uh, one of my favorites actually, uh, Pirate Rum. This is a very special bottle to me, um, mainly because I found it in my liquor cabinet, which means I didn't go, have, go out and have to buy rum for this, so that was, it's, uh, it's a great bottle. Um, what we're going to do today is we are going to make a rum blueberry ginger beer cocktail. So first thing we're going to do is take some blueberries and uh, I'm doing this also because berries are on sale right now everywhere. They're like super cheap. So just basically line the bottom of your glass here. Uh, and if you can't find them, you can get them frozen as well. Just thaw them out or this is going to be a hell of a lot harder. Uh, and then you take a tablespoon of brown sugar, which, why does it taste so good? It's molasses. And then you're going to take a lemon, and you're going to squeeze that in there. I get, mostly get it in there, like so. And we're going to muddle. My favorite things to do. I like to say muddle, muddle, while I'm muddling, so I'm just odd that way and you don't you don't need to smash them just like totally destroy them really just trying to break the skin off of these so you can get all the juice out of them and you get kind of this thick concoction here it looks like that uh, and the recipe I found for this actually called for ginger ale or as my grandmother used to call it ginger ale um, John go make me a high ball of some ginger ale and she lived to be 97 by the way so just saying um, but uh, I'm using ginger beer for this. Now I'm sure everybody out there has probably had ginger beer, but if you don't know ginger beer to ginger ale, it's, um, ginger beer is if like ginger ale went out like on a bender, like got all coked up on the weekends, like, oh, I'm ginger ale. And his friends are like, oh geez, it's not this again. Just let him, just let him go. Let him go do his thing. That's uh, what, the way he thinks he tastes then is what ginger beer is. So I'm going to put this in my shaker. This mixture we have. I'm gonna give it a little stir. Just make sure all the sugar is dissolved in there. And then we're gonna use some crushed ice. And let's give it a little shake here, why not? And then we're going to build off of this in an old-fashioned glass with, of course, our rum. About two ounces. I'll let you guys estimate what you think two ounces is. That looks fine. Add our ginger beer. And then I found at the store actually also some blood orange. Now, no recipe I found called for blood orange juice in this, but again, as I said before, nothing matters right now, so just do whatever the hell you want. I'm gonna do that. And a little more crushed ice. Give that guy another stir. You can use a straw for this, but it's not that easy to find those right now, especially in Los Angeles. And I'm just gonna garnish it with a lemon wedge since I got the lemon right here. And this is actually the first one of these I've made. I have not had this cocktail before, unlike the Aperol Spritz, I've had dozens of those. Uh, so we'll see. Wow, that's, wow. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, yeah, no, it's not too sweet. It's, yeah, make sure you, just the tablespoon of the brown sugar, but it's good, it's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna have like uh, one more of these. So uh, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. I'll have the recipe for this up on Food Flash. You can find it there. Uh, and stay safe, uh, take care of each other, and do well. Bye-bye.